The American investor William Mackman, known by many as Bill, is one of the most well-known hedge fund managers in the world. His contrarian style of investing sees him regularly in the press, making outlandish bets in the market and more often than not finds himself swimming against the tide. Ackman, however, considers himself to be one of the more activist investors, buying up large stakes in companies and trying to obtain both seats in the order to effect change. He is known for two bets, the first against Herbalife which failed and the second when earlier this year Ackman hedged his portfolio by purchasing credit protection which ensured the firm against the hedge market losses, earning his clients more almost $3 billion in 30 days which was dubbed the Big Shot 2. This came after Michael Berry initially pulled off the Big Shot against the US housing market which you would have learned about if you have seen the film. But who is Bill Ackman and how did he earn $2.6 billion in one month by betting against the market? Following his MBA from Harvard Business School, Ackman along with his fellow graduate David Berkowitz founded Gotham. Despite not tabling the winning bet, it attracted attention from investors which led to the firm raising their AUM to $500 million in 1998. The success of the firm was short-lived as they decided to invest in a loss-making golf course which they rebranded to Gotham Golf. They then piled up debt to continue acquiring more courses but in order to pay off the debt they tried to merge off the golf company with the real estate company to use its cash. This was blocked in code and the firm were left with little choice but to wind down their fund, returning money to investors and closing the business. After successfully founding his new business, after successfully founding his new business, Pershing Square Capital Management, Ackman had a new investment idea in May 2012, Herbalife a global multi-level marketing corporation that develops and sells dietary supplements. The firm were well known as, a being, as being a multi-level marketing business, whereby their products are sold by individuals who don't earn a salary. Ackman, however, believed that they were nothing more than a sophisticated pyramid scheme. He shortened the campaign's stock and between 2012 and 2018 lost between $500 million and a billion dollars. As the share price continued to rise, traveling in the wrong direction for Ackman, the documentary film Betting on Zero was even released giving a detailed account into the debacle. Whilst he was shorting the company, Ackman even spent $50 million on a PR campaign to try and hurt the stock price which is frowned upon by other well-known investors. Buffet suggests that this strategy is similar to taking fire insurance out against somebody whose house is then uh, they try to burn their own house down. Then that isn't how we would invest. In February 2020, Ackman was concerned that the markets were not truly pricing in the efforts of COVID-19 and feared a market correction. He initially considered liquidating his assets and portfolio to hold out cash only, but instead he bought downside protection or insurance on the market job through a credit default swap. He hedged against the corporate debt market in February, closing his position at the lowest possible point in March to generate returns of $2.6 billion in 30 days. In true Ackman fashion, he even appeared on CNBC on the 18th of March to push his agenda to an activist investor suggesting that hell is coming and that Trump needed to shut down the country. This would only benefit his short position once Ackman realized his profits, he did what every good investor would do and reinvested the returns, burying up his old favorites such as Starbucks, Hilton Hotels and Berkshire Hathaway. Thank you for watching. If you are new, please subscribe to the channel.